we left and nobody's seen him since. Bones Jones. 
His old flint locks hanging over his head with a pot-bellied stove by a busted-down bed. A looking like most everything he owns. Old antiquated busticated skinny bones Jones. His kerosene lamp and his table's there, sat alongside of his rocking chair, and singing along with his elegant tones. His storytelling set a spell on skinny bones Jones. Yes, friends, take Johnny Plug Check's advice. When you winterize your car, have your spark plugs checked, too, at your Autolite dealers. And remember, Autolite makes more than 400 products for cars, trucks, planes, and boats in 28 plants coast to coast. These include complete electrical systems used as original equipment on many makes of America's finest cars. Spark plugs, batteries, generators, coils, distributors, electric windshield wipers, starting motors, bullseye sealed beam headlights. All engineered to fit together perfectly because they're a perfect team. So, friends, don't accept electrical parts supposed to be as good. Ask for and insist on Autolite, original factory parts, at your neighborhood service station, car dealer, garage, or repair shop. Remember, you're always right with Autolite. Right into the arc of a rainbow at the bottom of Lad Hill. Reckon there's a pot of gold at the end, Pa? Could be, son. Howdy, folks. Welcome to the little mining town of Rainbow Ridge, the gateway to nature's wonderland. As we head for the wilderness, a couple of suggestions. Please stay seated at all times and keep your hands and arms inside the train. The animals get mighty hungry. And uh, no smoking, please, because we don't want to start a forest fire. Now, beyond these hills lies nature's wonderland. You're apt to see a whole lot of wildlife, so keep a real sharp hunter's eye. As we come out of this first tunnel, we'll be entering Beaver Valley. Looks like the beavers are building another dam. Yes, sir, they're really busy as a... well, busy as a beaver. Them little marmots over the tunnel must be a whistling to all you pretty gals. I can't say I blame them. If you've never gone beneath a waterfall before, then get set. Because we're coming up on Big Thunder. The biggest falls in all these here parts. You don't have to worry, though, unless the wind changes. Them other two falls, they call the Twin Sisters. I reckon that's because they're always babbling. <laughs> We're coming into bear country now, folks. And while we're crossing the old trestle, you gotta sit real still. No telling how long she's gonna last. You know, bears are one of the most playful animals there is. Lazy, too. All they want to do is lay around and scratch and fish and swim. <laughs> that is, when he ain't sleeping. You know, Nature's Wonderland is awful pretty, 
but sometimes she can be a mighty rugged place to live. Out here in the wilderness, the struggle for survival leaves only the strong and sometimes the lucky. See, look on that bank across Bear Creek there. Now there's a real struggle for survival. Two stags are battling for them cow elk. Maybe you folks can tell me, though, does getting two women folk mean you're the winner or the loser? <laughs> Never could figure that out. Well, I see we're coming back to Rainbow Ridge again. I hope you all enjoyed your trip into nature's wonderland. Uh, please stay in your seats till I get the train stop, will you? And then just lift up the jump seat in the middle and the door will come right open. Now, to find the exit, folks, just head right for the front of the train. And if you got a mountain lion sitting next to you, don't feed him. Just tell him to hop out and hightail it back to his own stomping ground. <laughs> well, thanks for riding along, and come on back again when you're out in these here frontier parts, will you? So long. When I got this book, I looked inside of it, and it just took me back to when I wished I could have been in basketball. Every time I go for the ball, I never know which direction to go to that one or this one. But eventually I, uh, I uh, decided I was going to be something else. <laughs> all of us have desires to be something else. <laughs> and you know, we can all make it. All we got to do is just get off our duff and do our stuff. Now I'll tell you, this story helps me remember about this poor little feller. He was called Dewey. He was a shrew. And you know, he always wanted to be a basketball player, but nobody would ever let him be on. I, I could never get on their team. And so I go around to all of the basketball players in the forest. That's where we all lived. There we were, out there. I was the only one that would never be used. I would always just sit back there and wait because I was nothing but a little shrew. I was only about a thimble long. But I'd go out and I'd talk to some of the folks there in the forest and oh, we had all of those folks. Look at them. That's where they, they were way up there, all of them. But not me. I was way down here. Nothing but a little thimble-sized shrew and I wanted so much to be up there with the big folks and I knew I could do it and nothing's going to stop me from doing it. Oh, really quite cruel. I feel like a heel. I feel like a fool. It isn't our place to tell others they're wrong. Instead, we should try to help them along. My small fuzzy friend, you've shown us all. You don't have to be big or fast to play ball. What you need is inside. It comes from your heart. Your desire and dreams will set you apart. We've been immature and caused quite a fuss. But today, Dewey Shrew, you're bigger than us! <laughs> and everybody cheered for Dewey! Everybody cheered for Dewey! Everybody cheered! Oh, 
Glory. And then there grabbed Dewey's tiny paw and shook his teeth, clattering, and his arm felt like it was going to fall apart. But his little heart had the happiest feeling that he had ever had in his life. He was one of the gang. I am 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 one of the gang. And then all the animals in the shade of a tree had a good look at what they were wondering, but they were mixed with glee. They were all enjoying a drink. And along with all the group, they all said, shoes really can hoop. What did they say? Shoes really can hoop. And I want to tell you, my friends, it's a good story that tells me what I want to do and how I got to be what I'm doing today. I thank the good Lord for the opportunity to meet wonderful people like you. And I'll tell you something right now. I don't su suppose many of you know for sure that I'm nearing my 82nd birthday.